everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me for a Mortal Instruments Inspired Craft. Today's project is how to make a Shadow Hunter's Stella, and it's also a pen. You can find links for all the materials you will need for this project in the description below the video, both on YouTube and at craftymcfangirl.com. You will need something to bake your project on, like a silicone mat and a baking tray a Bic round stick pin, silver polymer clay, a clear quartz crystal point, and a pair of pliers. When doing a polymer clay project, I like to work on a silicone baking mat on top of a baking tray. This way I can pop the project right into the oven without having to transfer it. Start with a Bic round stick pin. This brand of pin is preferred because it will not melt or lose its shape while baking. Use a pair of pliers to remove the ink cartridge before you begin. Never bake the pen with the ink inside. Choose a quartz crystal point that you like. This will be placed at the end of the Stella that doesn't have the ink pen. Now it's time to open the silver polymer clay. If you don't have silver, you can make it out of any color you have and paint the final piece with silver acrylic or spray paint at the end. Soften and condition the clay between your fingers. Roll out a strip of clay that is about an eighth of an inch thick and a little longer than your pen and crystal. Place the pen on top of the clay and use a blade to cut away the extra on the top and the bottom, leaving about half an inch of clay at the bottom to wrap around the crystal. Position the crystal on the clay. Press the crystal and the pen down slightly and your project will look like this. Trim one side so that it has a smooth edge and wrap it up around the pen. Press it down very lightly so the clay does not get a thin spot. Then do the same thing on the other side. Trim and wrap. Next it's time to join the seam. Working slowly and carefully, smooth the two edges together. Start from the middle and work up and down. Don't worry if the ends don't match up perfectly. The last step is to trim the bottom so it's nice and flush and even to the pen opening. Once the sides are smooth and the bottom is trimmed, it's time to work on the crystal end. Use your fingers and your clay tools to make sure the crystal is securely encased in the clay. The next step is to give your Stella a slight triangle shape. This will keep it from rolling around on the desk and will define the top and bottom of the Stella, which will help when adding the runes and decorations. If your quartz crystal comes loose during this part, make sure to re-secure it in the clay. And you may also need to re-trim the pen end of the Stella as well. It's important that the pen cartridge will be able to fit back inside the pen after you bake the clay, so make sure the hole is the right size. Next, it's time to add your runes and decorations. This is where you can really show your personality on your Stella. I chose to add an angelic power rune to my Stella by rolling out a thin piece of silver clay and shaping the rune at the end near the crystal. You want to make sure to position your decorations so that they don't make it uncomfortable to hold a pen and write with it. Bake according to the instructions on your clay package. Baking time and temperature will vary by clay brand and the size of your project. Once the Stella is baked and completely cooled, your project is done. You're ready to save mundanes from the demon incursion with angelic power. Thanks so much for crafting with me today, guys. If you enjoyed this project and you want to see what's coming next, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to see more Mortal Instruments inspired crafts, let me know in the comments below and I will give it my best try. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.